One of southern Indiana's newest jails is close to filling up. Just two years ago, officials in Knox County replaced a jail holding fewer than 50 prisoners with one that can hold at least four times that number. But as News 10's Mike Grant reports, even that may not be enough. When Knox County opened its new jail, officials believed it would be a long time before coming close to its 225-bed capacity. That long time has now arrived, although officials aren't sure why. It's hard to define. Uh, it's, you know, people commit crimes and part of that punishment is coming to jail. And that's what we're here for. Knox County has held as many as 40 inmates for other counties and the Department of Corrections. However, that's not the problem now with only 31 DOC prisoners staying there. Officials here say they expect this near capacity situation to end very quickly. As a matter of fact, they're working now to lower the population here at the jail. Currently working with uh, other entities within the county government, the uh, probation office, courts, so forth, to reduce our number to a, uh, to a manageable number to where we do have a cushion. And officials here emphasize that a high inmate population does not equal a get out of jail free card. The, uh, the colonel should be aware that, uh, you know, we're here and we do have room. Just not quite as much or for as long as people expected when the jail first opened. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. And Knox County isn't the only new jail seeing high prisoner populations. The new 200-bed jail in Davies County is currently holding more than 180 inmates.